When you're short on time and you just need a workout that gets the job done, this 10 minute dumbbell full body workout for beginners covers it all. Prepare for a super effective routine that hits every muscle in your body that's great for anyone wanting to master movement fundamentals. We will be performing compound exercises that incorporate dumbbells to build strength and burn fat in just 10 minutes. We have 10 exercises in our workout. Each exercise is performed for 45 seconds of work and 15 seconds of rest to get ready for the next exercise. If you're a beginner, I suggest starting light with the dumbbells for this routine. Once you start to feel more comfortable with the movements, increase the weight you're lifting gradually. You'll want to find a weight that lets you complete each exercise with good form, but also challenges you for the duration of the interval. Every time you practice this video, you'll be able to know what weight best suits you and the stronger you'll become with every rep you do. It's important to get in a quick warm up before doing this workout. I suggest a light walk or spending a few minutes marching in place. If you have an extra 10 minutes to spare, check out my quick warm up routine, which I'll link in the cards and below in the description box. Are you ready to get stronger? Grab your weights and your positive attitude and let's go. Are you ready to get stronger? Find your dumbbells and let's begin. Our first exercise starts in 15 seconds. Pick up your weights and let's get ready for a squat. Take your feet about hip distance apart with your weights inside your legs. Roll your shoulders down and back and squeeze gently with your core. From here, lower your hips down and back and stand up. The squat is a fundamental movement that you use every day in your life. You do a squat every single time you stand up and sit down from a chair. So practicing squats will help you stay active for a lot longer in life. Think about your legs getting stronger with every rep and carrying you on for many years for lots of adventures. Good, keep breathing and see if you can go a little lower with your knees tracking along with your feet. Yes, that's nice. I see you working, relax. Bring both of your weights into one hand. Step one leg forward that's opposite to the hand that holds the weights. Find a static lunge and hinge from your hips. From here, let's move into a single arm row, bringing the weights to your hip pocket and lowering back down. Now, when many people row, they think about moving their elbow. I want you to think about actually moving from your scapula first. So as you move the weights up and down, think about starting from your scapula, and as you bring the weights towards your, your hips, squeezing your back muscles. Keep your chest open and your shoulders down. Now you're feeling some work in the supporting standing leg, and that's on purpose because each movement in this workout hits multiple muscle groups so you can get the best bang for your buck. Good job. Whew. Relax, let's switch sides. So you're going to switch which hand holds your weights, step forward with the opposite leg, hinge from your hips with a nice long spine, shoulders roll down and back, and now from your scapula, you're going to row your weights towards your hip pocket and down. This is an excellent move for posture. It can help prevent the slouch that comes from spending a lot of time on the computer. So even though this exercise might seem really simple, it's really powerful in how it helps you stand up taller and perform better. Good, stay with it. And notice if one side is stronger than the other. Perfectly normal. That's why doing single arm or single leg exercises can help with imbalances. Whew. Keep bracing through your core. How's the breathing? Nicely done, my friend. Let's transition to the floor. So come on down, bring your weights with you, and you're going to lay down onto your back with one or both weights on your hips. Shoulders roll down and back, tuck your pelvis, and from here, you're going to lift up into a bridge, squeeze your butt hard, and lower back down. Now I threw in two exercises on the floor in the middle of this workout on purpose. 
because getting up and down from the ground is also an essential skill to practice. Think, you want to be able to get up and get down for a long time in life. So we're going to use that skill today in our workout. Now I hope your butt's on fire. You might also feel your low abs and your low back because they're working to stabilize and support you here. Good. Keep those shoulders open and don't forget to breathe. Whew. Oh my gosh, relax. Take both of your weights, one in each hand, and press them up towards the ceiling. Rotate your palms slightly in so they're at a 45 degree angle. And we're going into a chest press. So from here, all you're going to do is lower your elbows down and bring them back up. The chest press is an excellent way to prepare your body to practice push-ups. So if push-ups seem like a really daunting task at the moment, seem very far away, work on your chest press and then revisit push-ups and see if they get easier from the time that you spend doing this exercise. You wanna think about not just pressing up, but pulling the weights down. You should feel your chest, shoulders, and, and triceps here. Whew. <laughs> Good job. I hope you're proud of yourself for being here today. Relax. All right, let's find our way up to a standing position. So practice this skill. Bring your weights with you. We've got a bicep curl to a shoulder press. So take your hands by your sides, shoulders down and back. Squeeze your butt. From here, you're going to curl your biceps up, press over your head, and down. So again, we're doing bicep curl, shoulder press. A lot of muscles are working in this exercise because we've got 10 minutes and we're making every second count. People always think that if they don't have an hour, they might as well not exercise. And I think that does them a disservice because if you have five minutes, you can do a little bit of movement medicine that goes far in the quality of your health and overall life. So next time you have five minutes, I hope you stretch or do a little bit of indoor walking or maybe even this routine. Whew, shoulders. All right, relax. We're going to work the back of your shoulder with a rear delt fly. So we're going to hinge at the hips, keep our spine nice and long, palms face each other, squeeze your abs and your butt. And from here, all you're going to do is open the arms and bring them back down, kind of like a fly. So think about a long spine here. You should also feel your glutes and your core working to support you in this hinged position. And this is another great exercise for posture. They all are. But you, we want to train all parts of the shoulder, the front, the side, and the back. Good. Whew. Okay, this routine is effective. I am glistening. If you are too, I want you to hit that thumbs up button or leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite move is in this workout. <sighs> All right, my friend, relax. Meet me on the floor. So we're moving back down to the ground. We have two more exercises. Our next exercise is a forearm plank. So you're going to bring your forearms on the mat. You can keep your knees down or you can tuck your toes, flex your quads, squeeze your butt, and think about being the longest and strongest plank possible. The plank works everything. It's a very effective move to sneak into your routines. And we do a lot of planks on this channel because I believe they're very powerful. And a 45 second plank is no joke. So if you need to take a rest, feel free to drop those knees. And then when you're ready, pop right back up. But again, the more you use this video, you'll be shocked to see the transformation and how much your body gets stronger. <sighs> oh yeah, this plank is working. It's hard. Huh. <sighs> you made it, my friend. Lay all the way on your belly. Our last exercise is a superhuman. So we're going to reach our arms and reach our legs long, tuck our pelvis into the floor, tuck our chin, and when you're ready, you're going to lift up and hold. So we reach our arms, reach our legs, lift up and hold, shoulders down and back. Try to think about pushing your hips down into the mat, squeezing your glutes as hard as you can. 
I know it's tempting to look at my smiling face, but keep your gaze down and your neck nice and long. Whew, it's hard. Take a break whenever you need to. Remember, this is for you. Breathe, squeeze, and believe. That's the motto, my friends. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. This is good. Whew. How you feeling? <sighs> Relax. All right, whenever you're ready, stand on up. And you, my friend, have just completed a 10 minute full body strength workout. I'm your certified health and fitness coach, Caroline Jordan, and I love, love exercising with you. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment below to let me know how you feel. And to support this work and my message of sharing movement as medicine with the planet, in addition to getting my follow along fitness calendar program, let's begin our journey together on Patreon. Patreon.com backslash Caroline Jordan Fitness is where the action is at. So join us today and let's move together for well-being for life. Great job, my friend. I can't wait to see you again soon. And until then, keep sweating.